Hi there. In this short video I'm going to explain how to create custom alerts in Thinkorswim. So once you have the platform launched, the first thing you want to do is navigate to the setup menu in the upper right hand corner. When you click on it, you'll then choose application settings, should be the very top choice. Once done, a new window will appear, and then we're going to click on notifications in the top left corner of this window. And uh, here we'll find all the different settings for uh, setting up the alerts. So right now you can receive alerts via email, SMS, or text message, and push notifications to iOS mobile devices, so like an iPad or an iPhone. But uh, in this example, I'm just going to explain what you'll need to do to receive these via email and text. So in the uh, top portion of this uh, window here, you'll see send an email to and there's two uh, locations where you can enter an email address. You'll see here I already have one set up but here you can just go and enter one uh, if you don't already and what will happen is after you enter the address you're going to click on get confirmation code and then nearly instantaneously you'll be sent an email with a four digit code. What you'll do then is just copy that code out of the email, paste it into the available box here and uh, you'll have an option then to click on confirm and you basically would do this exact same thing if you'd like to set that up to receive text messages. So in this box here, set up a confirmed number. So you'd basically enter your full cell phone number or you know phone capable of receiving SMS messages, including the area code. You'll click on uh, uh, the box basically after entering your number. You'll receive a text message with the code, and then basically just enter it in the box available and click confirm. So once you've done that and uh, your email and or uh, cell phone number has been confirmed, you'll just want to make sure that uh, a few boxes are checked here. So one being send email. Uh, you might also want to go ahead and put a check where it says sound on trigger. So if you are near your platform, it'll make a sound letting you know that uh, that trigger has been hit. Um, and then just a couple other choices that you can obviously set really to your preference. But once you have that all set up, we'll go and click on OK. And then we'll actually go ahead and set up an alert. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is put this pretty close to the price action, so it'll go ahead and trigger. But obviously, what you're, you know, what you might be using these for is, um, you know, if you hit targets or something like that. So you obviously wouldn't put it so close to the price action normally. But uh, what I'll go ahead and do is I'm going to right click, and then go down to create alert. And this window will appear and uh, what we're really going to focus on is really just the price and then if it triggers at or above uh, that set price. So currently Tesla is trading at 230.36 so what we'll do is we'll just set it at uh, 230.34 to see if we can get one and we may have to uh, create an additional one but uh, that's okay so we'll go ahead and do that and actually it looks like it already jumped above that so we'll just go ahead and do that and so we want it to be at or above and we'll say create and uh, we'll go ahead and just try to kind of straddle that price so we can go and get the alert to trigger so I'll do the same thing right click then create alert and we'll do this for 230 25 We'll do at or below. All right, and as you can see here, one of our alerts uh, did trigger. So what we'll do now is check our email address, and we should have an email confirming that alert as well. And uh, sure enough, I do have the email here and this is what it looks like. So basically just tells you alert on Tesla was uh, hit below 230.25. So that's basically it. Hope that helps.